Good Saturday morning, friends. Come on in, pull up a chair, sit down. We are going to make a creamy chicken bake for lunch. Ooh -wee. So it's about 11 o'clock, so this will take about an hour. So this way we can have lunch before we head off to work. We got some snow, y'all, just some flurries. Um, it's stuck, and you can kind of see it's bright out in the window there. Not a whole lot, not as much as they were forecasting, but we're in Southern Ohio, so we didn't, well, Southwestern, whatever. Anyway, we didn't get as much as they forecasted, but it's still pretty to look at. The chickens came up to, and to get their treat, and I tell you a funny story the other day. All the dogs were in the house, and I was sitting in the living room, and I heard a little peck at the door, and I thought, who is that? All the dogs are in the house. I got up and looked, and it was Carol, my rooster. He was pecking at the glass. He's like, hey, hey, mom, where's my cat food? So I gave him a treat. So anyway, it was cute. But anyway, got my chickens fed, dogs are fed, everybody's kind of relaxed, and so now I'm going to feed the rest of us. So we're going to do this creamy chicken bake. So inside my 9 by 13, I have four or six chicken breasts. Uh, mine are kind of thin. I like to fill, fillet them a little bit thinner. Oh, don't want to say that three times fast. Oven's preheated to 350 degrees. Okay, so first we're going to season our chicken, and I've got some onion powder here. You pick what seasonings you like. I'm going with onion powder, black pepper, salt, and paprika. My favorites. All right, I'm just gonna move this off to the side. Well, actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna, so the original recipe didn't call for potatoes, but I have some leftover shredded hash browns from where I made that recipe the other day with the taco bake. Oh, that was good. Um, so there's about three cups of these shredded hash browns. Now, I got them out this morning to let them thaw a little bit. They're not completely thawed. I'm gonna add that right on top of the chicken. The original recipe called for mushrooms. Now, I forgot to get the mushrooms. So, if you're making this at home and you want mushrooms, eight ounce can of mushrooms, or you could use fresh. I'm really sad I forgot them because I think mushrooms would have been fantastic. Okay, so I've got my potatoes on there. Now I'm gonna season the potatoes also. We're gonna season each layer. A little bit of onion powder black pepper, salt, and paprika. There we go. So now each layer is seasoned. Now we are going to make the sauce that goes over top that makes this the creamy part of the creamy chicken. I'm just gonna set this off to the side for now. In our bowl, we're going to add one cup of cre uh, sour cream. Okay. How's everybody doing? Are you doing well in the new year? I hope you are. Work was really busy last night. Um, it was a home basketball game, so we kind of had a full house in the dining room. I'm not sure how to go tonight with this cold weather. Some people, some people like to really come out to eat. Like one time, so one time it was uh, Valentine's Day and most people go out of town to eat. Uh, you know, pizza spot's not really the place for a Valentine's dinner. So um, we had really heavy snow that day, that evening, and everybody decided not to go out of town and eat at the pizza shop. So we were super swamped that Valentine's Day. So sometimes snow can deter and sometimes it can attract, especially local places. Sorry, I get to talk it. One can of cream of chicken. Now we're gonna do one can of cream of mushroom. What do you all do on Saturdays? On Saturdays, I usually, before work, depending on how tired I am, I try to do as many chores as I can. Um, do them so Sunday I can kind of cook and, and do the things that I enjoy and rest. Um, so today I dusted. I'm not going to mop because the ground's wet and the dogs 
we'll track that in. So I'll wait till all that dries up before I mop. But I did sweep, I dusted, I organized my pantry, I cleaned out my refrigerator. I did a load of laundry and it's in the dryer, you may hear it. And I've got one more load of towels to do. I cleaned um, Mason, the guest bathroom, and I picked up our bathroom. Mine doesn't get as messy as his. Okay, so we're gonna add a half a cup of water. So to recap for the sauce, it's one cup of sour cream, one can of cream of mushroom, one can of cream of chicken, and a half a cup of water. Like I said, the, the mushrooms, the additional mushrooms, that would have been fantastic. All right, that's it for the sauce. Move my stuff here out of the way. Now we've got our nine by 13 here. We've got a layer of chicken, layer of potatoes and seasoning. Now we're just gonna pour this cream sauce right over everything. the boys rice to go with this with the cream because anytime they're happy anytime I fix them rice but I had those potatoes and I thought what a great way to use those potatoes up because there really wasn't enough to like fry for hash browns for everybody but I think mixed in with this it'll be the perfect amount great way to use up what I have We don't waste anything. Everything's so expensive right now, especially groceries. And there we have it, friends. 350 degrees, uh, uncovered. I'm gonna say an hour, but I'm gonna let you know because my chicken's a little bit thinner since I like to fillet those breasts. All right, so I'm gonna put, throw it in the oven and we'll be back at lunchtime. Oh, I'm also gonna do um, asparagus in my um, air fryer. So when this is getting close to being done, I'll come back and show you how we're gonna do that. Um, asparagus. See a little bit fine. All right, so our creamy chicken and potato casserole is almost ready. So I thought I'd share with you how I do my asparagus. Now I've washed my asparagus and I leave the rubber bands on because that's easiest to keep them together. And I cut, you know, quite a bit of that stocky bottom off because I don't like that. I will save these and I will throw these out to the chickens. My friends will enjoy that. So now I'm just gonna take the uh, rubber bands off. I have my air fryer preheating 400 degrees for seven minutes. So it's doing its um, preheat. I'm just gonna spread these out. I'm gonna hit them with some olive oil, probably about a tablespoon of olive oil in there. This is just what I'm doing today. I'm gonna do some garlic, granulated garlic. This is one of my favorite ways to do asparagus. Totally put this in the oven. You could totally put these in the microwave and steam them in the microwave. You don't have to use air fryer. Salt. Okay, so our basket's heated up. Parmesan cheese. Give them a bit of a stir. Mix up there. All right, we'll get our basket out. Here's our basket. We're gonna put them in there. Hear that sizzle? All right. Look good. Right there in our basket. Back in. And there they go. Seven minutes, 400 degrees. Come back and I'll show you our complete dinner. Friends, we're back. The star of the show is done. Let me get my here so you can see it clearly a little bit better look at that friends our creamy chicken and potato bake we i think the best way to tackle it is probably just going to scoop it up with a spoon i think that's the best way to do it there we go look at that friends we got that chicken Breast, we've got those leftover hash browns. I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper to mine. I already know. Here 
we have that sp that asparagus seven minutes in the air fryer it's perfect took it out added a little pat of butter to it a little bit more parmesan cheese it's perfect mm. it's tender but it's not mushy seven minutes is perfection so i've got my asparagus here i love asparagus let's check out the chicken let's see how it did i've got a knife here Oh, don't need it. Chicken is super tender. Don't need a knife. Let me get a little bit of a smaller bite here because it's hot straight from the oven. Let's give it a try if I can get it on my fork. Oh, friends. That's absolutely delicious. Perfect for a cold, snowy, Southern Ohio day. We don't want to add the potatoes. Cook rice on the side. You got plenty of that creamy sauce for some rice or some mashed potatoes. There you go, friends. Yeehaw. Thanks for stopping by. If you're new here, like and subscribe and hang out with me and all my friends as we make some tasty, easy, wonderful, delicious meals. All right, friends. Have a great day. I'm going to eat and get ready for work. See you tomorrow.